Hey guys, this is Garis. Welcome back to another episode of Survival Done. We're back here in Minecraft, Feed the Beast, and we have upgraded a bunch of things in the previous episode. So I'll already show you guys a bunch of things that I've upgraded, and we have a massive change. There's no hulking big structure here anymore. So what I've done, I've moved it downstairs, because we need to start making some... Uh, weapons with Tinkish constructs. So I couldn't find any um, Enderman unfortunately to get rid of because um, Because this is a public server mostly everybody sleeps. Well, which is fine. I don't mind that but it's a bit difficult finding monsters and Creatures we need but that's okay. What we'll do is we'll go to the end and we'll go get a few Endermen there and see if we can get a couple of Endermen head over there. And what I'm also thinking now <coughs> is that we actually should get a Enderman trapped so that we have one. <laughs> okay, but the main purpose is that we are going to make a better sword with Tinker's Construct. Okay, so <coughs> I've already checked the book. It seems steel is a best one for um, for a blade. Actually, I did not check which one is better for a, a what do you call it? A two rod. Um, let's quickly see two rod, which will be from your word. I just want to see where I am. Handle modifier 0 0.5, handle modifier 1.3. Right, let's go with this one 1.34 iron. Okay, and steel we got in chests all around the world. Making steel is a bit more difficult, but it's okay. As I said, we found it in chests. Okay, also, we need aluminum brass. One, two. So you can make new new costs of that. Okay, so how you get... I think I did show you guys how to make the all the costs and stuff in the previous episode. Oh, do we already have these guys? Oh, well. Doesn't matter. Where did I go with the... costs I made? There they are. Okay, so we need a tool rod. And that's all we have. Let's take all these things down since we now have a new place to put it. Right in here. <coughs> that's a tough tool rod. That's a normal tool rod, yes. Okay, shovel, tough binding. Okay. And for a binding, we are going to make do it a little bit differently. We are going to use paper as a binding material for a white guard. This will give us an extra modifier. So that's kind of what we want. Okay, so paper, we'll keep that. Just we need to stay here. Okay, so first of all, we need to make a sort pattern. Let's put this one back. Then we can cast it. Aluminum brass. And then that will be steel. This we can throw away. Steel, it should automatically go in here. Why aren't you going in? Oh well, <coughs> probably did something wrong. And that will be iron. Stage steel blade. Our iron tool rod and the paper white guard. Okay, then we go over here and we choose we want the broadsword and then we have right reinforced durability 1170 modifiers 4. Okay, so 
let's put away this sword since it won't be needed. And I'm going to drop off all things that I won't be needing. <clears throat> of course, I don't want to let things go to waste. We can put that there. And we'll mod modify this thing in a second. And then we're going to the end. Oops, another one up. Okay, so first of all, we need beheading, but we also need sharpness. Okay, so one, two, three. There's four modifiers. So we're going to take three beheadings. And then one for sharpness, which is... Um, I asked the players not to sleep because I wanted to find Enderman, but it's going to take longer to find Enderman. So I just decided, well, let's go to the end. It's two and then three. Okay, and then we need sharpness. Oh, it needs 72. Okay, maybe I should quickly go to the nether and go get more um, quartz. Attacks four and a half hearts. Five hearts. Not enough, actually. Okay, let me go grab more nether uh, quartz and I'll bring it back in a sec. Okay, so I'm busy with the last few quartz. I've actually been stupid. You can actually make it quartz blocks and you can uh, um, enchant it that way or, as, or enhance it that way as well. So, to say if I so that you don't waste time like me. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so now we have a proper sword. Now, just want to dump off this. This goes there. We go up. Put that back. Wait, I need food. I don't have enough food. Okay, and we are going to do it a little cheeky way to return back. <laughs> We're going to um, teleport back to base. So because there's no way for us to return back home yet. So what we'll do is we'll use um, to teleport back. That should work if I'm not mistaken from another dimension. Let me grab a couple of food. Okay, done, dusted. Okay, so one of the other players base is right on top of the end. So we have a portal set up here. Uh, where's the portal again? I think it's up here. Yes. So it was blind luck that they um, built their base right on top of the air. When they went caving, they found us. So we just need to f follow the recent torches and we'll get there. This way. I'm looking for gold with these berry bushes. Okay, so that's the end. Let's see. Ooh, I needed to bring some a few blocks. Okay, I quickly ran back home, got a stack of cobblestone. Okay, the reason for this is we are going to have to build a cover where the Enderman won't get to us. Hopefully, <clears throat> oh, I forgot to take off the bubbles. And once again, we're back. So. Uh, I took off my bubbles and I just brought a pickaxe so that you can get a few in stone as well. Why not? Oh. Oh, here it is. Whew, I almost thought it was a 
Wrong spot. What I can do is just do that. Go to my journey maps. Just say off. I can look at you. Come here. They said. <laughs> and now I can't pull it. But in any case, let me continue. That's loud. Okay. So let me continue grabbing a couple of these aids and I'll bring you back in a few. Okay, the only problem I have is these stupid skeletons. They keep spawning and eating me while I'm trying to focus on Enderman and then they come at the back of me and they ruin everything. So let me just pick up my gravestone from a previous round. Ooh, got a few seeds. Yeah, nice. Okay, so we got a couple of eggs and I came here because it's easier right here. Five eggs, not too much, but it's a couple. So let's head back home. There we go. Okay, let me just now increase the volume a bit. Okay, so we have one thing at least. Now we need to get... Um, oh, what do you call it? Creeper aids. So I think I'm going to spend a couple of minutes off cam. I'll have to, <coughs> excuse me, go look in caves. Unfortunately for those, don't know. Unfortunately, where else we're going to get those? But yes, well, <laughs> it's going to have a little time. Also, I got a Enderman, so at 12 hearts. Stone broadsword. Oh, that's my previous one. Oh, is that the one I made e earlier? I can't even remember making that. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, and I got dimlets. We'll get to those in the future a bit. But yes, so let me go caving a bit. Go look for um, creeper aid. So that's the only thing we're still missing at this point in time. So yes, once I'm done with that, I'll bring you back and we'll go look for that um start the spawner not go look for it i'm gonna go look for it and you just sit tight and relax for a second or two and i'll be right back okay now unfortunately i went through i think easily 12 13 creepers and no luck in finding any aids I killed a, a <coughs> excuse me a skeleton and immediately got a head. So I am going to plan something new. Ooh, we have no gold. That's not very good. Let's quickly make a few. Oh, and also I increased the generator count, the capacitor count, and the um charcoal method of getting or the method of getting charcoal so we are definitely up front or oh, aid so when i logged in today <laughs> this thing was full of wood so that's why i increase all that and that's why i want to get the spawner running so that we can start using the power so this is a room i cleared out so the spawner will come in about here it has a five by five range and then here in the front once we can we'll make a killer joe killer joe's automatically kills any mob in its area so then we can get everything we want easily okay so to get um, what we're going to do we're going to add a modifier to this um, sword so that we can add the luck attribute as well Come on, pick up. And then we're going to see if that helps at all. Nope. 
Okay, that will give us an extra modifier, and then we're going to use a bunch of these guys. See, pretty much the same as this. We can add it. Okay, we can add 450. Oh, wow, that's a lot of stacks. I don't think I have that many at the moment. 450, wait. That's 45 blocks. Oof, I don't think we're going to get that. But then the chance of getting AIDS is probably much better. It's almost 45. Let's see if we grab the last few. Okay, I think it's now time that we try upping our game of getting materials because we generally need a bunch more resources. Uh, so we might look into the ender quarry maybe. Or we can actually just do this quarry and give it two generators. Okay, so we add luck. Looting two. Okay, so let's see if this helps. I just discovered a piece of <coughs> um, cave that I haven't been to. So I'm thinking of going there and see if that helps anything. I've been all around my base, or base really, in the area around me, and getting to all the caves there are. See, see, there's a creeper in front of me, but it's down below. So I already made an entrance over here. Otherwise, we'll just tunnel there. see any creeper that way. So I want to hit that creeper way over there. Let's just go there. See if we can get him. So this is basically how I find um, caves. <laughs> I tunnel in with a, a staircase close to where the creeper is and then I find the um, cave entrance. And then usually I bring out the creeper so that I have more space to run to. Okay, here's something. Ah, there it is. Okay. So what we need to do is make a staircase for it. And then we'll kite it out basically. That's how it works. <clears throat> Ooh, that's not good. I think I need to close this off. Where's our creeper going? No, he died. Oh, we got a head! <laughs> awesome! Okay, that's fun. Okay, let's get back to base. Let's just use this. Okay. Um. Okay, that was a stroke of luck. That was more of a box than anything else. <laughs> Okay, so now we need one of each of these guys. 
Okay. Now we can... What is this for? It's a... So... Something... So... <clears throat> excuse me, soul binder for solarium and machine. Which we have. Now we need a four solarium. One, two, three, four. Now we can craft this. Craft craft it. Okay, so we will put you right here machines we want. Okay, you're getting power. Let's give you a better capacitor. So otherwise it takes forever. Then we have a creeper and we'll take one of these. And then we'll take a power spawner. Yay, we can make a power spawner in this episode it seems. I was wondering there for a moment. Okay, so you and you, how many XP? 15. Okay, so we just, oh we have 15 XP. Okay, and there it goes. Let's give you one of those. While that one goes up, let's put the rest of our XP back. Or store our XP. And then once we have this... Okay, so now we have a creeper spawner. So combine with a power spawner in an anvil to set a spawn type. So we go back to our enchanting area. You see how much it takes. 30 XP, nice. One. Oh, that's all. <laughs> okay, fine. That's what you want. Creeper, great. What happened there? Oh. Now we have a creeper spawner. Yay! Okay, let's see if we can quickly hook this up. Um, oh, there's a slime above us. It's actually quite annoying. So what we'll do... We'll grab a couple of these glass. I'm bringing this down here just in case. We need a few more power conduits. Luckily that's easy and cheap to make. Rest back. So, idea is that we run the power and <coughs> item conduits down here. Also, I'm um, speaking about conduits. I finally remembered to upload the um, Feed the Beast mini episode regarding conduits. So, go check that out. If I remember, I'll link it up in the top right hand corner with the um, what do you call it? The Can't remember the name now. The cards. Yeah, that's what it is. So this is a metal one too, so we can put the glass up here. So what's nice about these glass, this glass you can break it off so you've placed it. Okay. So the idea is that we are going to stand here with that there. You're going to get power. We can actually put a redstone conduit actually and enable it with redstone conduits. Let's do that quickly. So we need one, two, three of those. Let's get a few more. Let's see, do we have a lever? Yes, we do. We do this. I'm not going to do it too fancy and for now. Let's show it so that you see what we can do. Um, there we 
go, connected. Now we place um, I think you need this. Wait. Yes, there we go. Okay, that enables that. There we go. So we put this back. There we go, and that enables and disables the spawner, which is awesome in my opinion. So let's send these guys back. Let's see if we can get a few more creepers going. I don't think it should blow up. See, again, no creeper heads. Bad of them. But in any case, so we have our creeper spawner. Let's just switch it off. Otherwise, we come back and there's a bunch of creepers going there. And we lose our base. A nuclear apocalypse having a hole in the ground. So, anyway, for now, I'm going to call it. I hope I show you something interesting. i uh, show you how cool it is to do spawners yourself we can do the same with the enderman and then we can get as many pearls as we want but at this moment that doesn't really matter we're only going to keep the enderman for heads i'm going to swap back my sword oh wait that's the only sword i have at the moment so i'm going to keep it for now once we go to the nether i think in the next episode we need to look into our armor <laughs> Maybe we should make a couple of those crystals. Crystals. Where's Indro? Vibrant crystal. We can already make it. So, yes, in the next episode, we'll do our armor and we'll go back to the nether and we'll see if we can actually get some mining done on this. So, I think we need to swap out the head, which is at the moment bronze for obsidian aid and that will i th think give a level of cobalt we'll see but in any case once again i'm going to call an episode thank you for joining me i hope you enjoyed the episode if you did please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in the next one cheers